welcome back. It is so good to see you. And if you're new here, it's really nice to meet you. I'm Monty, and on this channel, we talk about all things science fiction and fantasy related, especially when there's a little bit of romance involved. And I know you're probably looking at me going, Monty, where are you? <laughs> Better question is, where have I been? Okay, so I'm currently in my bathroom. <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'm going to go meet my father uh, for lunch because it's his birthday. And I figured, you know what? This is the only time I think I have right now to kind of film a quick little video, explain what's been going on and uh, not have the birds screaming at me. Uh, it's currently a day off for me. It's a, a, a day off that our com my company gives me. So yeah. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare while I talk to you so I can get out of here and uh, go see my dad. So if you're willing to watch me do some skincare and listen to where I've been, and I'll kind of tell you what I have planned and how things are going to go. So if you're into that, if you're down for that, let's get into it. Where have I been? I guess that's the big question. I haven't posted forever. Short answer is um, life's been busy right now. Uh, lately. Um, as I've said before, I work full-time, I have a full-time job, and it's kind of demanding. I work in tech, and it is, things just got really busy for a while, and when I do videos, I usually have to do them really early in the morning, before work, or on the weekends. So I try to minimize Ah, stay, stay. Minimize the sounds of birds being crazy in my videos because it is so hard to try to muffle that sound. I am not as good at sound editing as I need to be to kind of totally get rid of that. I don't even know. And I'm sure there are people that could do it. They'd be like, oh, you just need to do this. I've yet to learn that. I'm working on it. Working on learning all of the sound editing tricks. But so that's when I usually have to film and it's just been really rough, uh, lately getting up early enough. We went through daylight savings and I don't know, I'm just one of those people that cannot seem to get through, adjust to daylight savings. It's like my body just hates it so much. So I just haven't had a whole lot of time to film plus and don't get me wrong. There's a couple of things I filmed. Oh, why does this keep slipping down? I swear. These are so like just juicy. They don't want to stay up. There's a couple of things I filmed and I hated them. Like I did this pretty long video essay, but I can just tell that my energy was anything but what it should have been. I was, I just looked so tired. I sounded tired. It just sounded, it just wasn't good. And so I'm like, that's really not what I want to put out there. So the couple of videos that I have filmed, I didn't like. So I, I got rid of them. It just didn't make a lot of sense to keep them around if they weren't the quality I wanted to put out. Other than work, there's been a couple of things in my personal life that's been going on. Uh, we adopted a new bird. His name is Albie. I'll put a picture here. And when you see him, yes, Albie looks a little different. Albie is a little cockatiel. And I know he looks a little different because he's missing all his feathers here in his chest and under his wings and on his little tummy. And that he also is missing feathers on his back. And the reason is, is when Albie was hatched, his bird parents, birds, not humans, plucked him after he hatched. And so unfortunately, Albie's feathers will never grow back. He is quite an anxious little bird. He, uh, yeah, so he lives with us now <laughs> and he seems to be adapting pretty good, but that's been like a big, big change in life, having a uh, little Albie come to live with us. And then, like I said, I don't know if it was in the video I trashed or in the video I actually put out, like, and this is so dumb, right? Like my, my car decided it was time to retire and I, and that's like not a big deal, but like any major purchase for me is 
like it's anxiety inducing. And so I had to go and like find a new car and everything. And not that I bought a brand new car, found a nice used car. But it was just like, it was one of those things where I, my commute is over a hundred miles when I commute into the office. So, uh, it's just, it's really like having a car to get to the office when I go in there is like really, really important. And it was just, it was super stressful. And there were other things that were going on that were just kind of super stressful. And so it's just kind of snowballed, right? Plus on the book front, a lot of the books I've been reading, uh, and listening to and everything like here's a, my review would have been like, well, they were fine. They were okay. And I, I hate that. I hate when I'm just like, Meh, you know, like it's well written. It's a good story. It's just like, mm, whatever. And so like, I didn't, I didn't think to me, I don't want to put out a review. And that seems like a lot of my reviews were just like, yeah, it was fine. It was fine. It was like, whatever. And so I'm just like, if I'm not into it, I don't want to talk about it really. I mean, yeah, I can say, okay. I mean, <sighs> Ooh, look at all the books I read and they were like, okay. <laughs> to me, that's not what I would do. Plus here. And here's the thing is when I do reviews, if you look at my early, early reviews, like they were really in depth and like kind of like deep dives into the books and like discussions about things. And I really went into the plots a lot. So I could, t there were things I could talk about and I love that, but I started getting comments from some people that were like, no, I don't want to know anything about the book. I just want to know, you know, uh, very basic overview and what you thought about it. And I'm like, and you know, it's weird when you start putting your opinion out there and you start getting other, other people's opinions, it's like, okay, yeah, if, if that's how, if that's how I'm supposed to do this booktube thing, then that's what I should probably start doing is I should start falling in line and doing what everyone else is doing. And, and I hate that. <laughs> like, I hate that. I hate giving this like very vague, like reading the back of the book or whatever. And like, you know, and always trying to put it in my own words and then like just saying, yeah, it was three stars. Who cares, right? Like to me, I'm like, when I watch people review books, I wanna know, like, there's been so few books that I haven't watched reviews on before I read them that like so few. And I love watching reviews of people who have read a book that I've read and like their take on it. Good, bad, indifferent, I don't care. Because I love to see how people interpret it. And I love when they go like, deeper than, oh, here's the blurb on the back. Cause I don't know if y'all have noticed this, like the blurb on the back sometimes doesn't even like represent the book. Like <laughs> I've been suckered so much into reading things that aren't even like what I would have thought the book was about by the uh, back. Anyway, so needless to say, you know, it's weird when you start, when you, when you put yourself out there, and like I said, I, I'm an artist I've shown in shows before. And I, I mean, I've heard people discussing my art in front of me if they didn't know who I was, you know, I stand in there listening and like, you have to have a thick skin, right? You have to have a thick skin for that. And I think YouTube's somewhat the same, but also very different because I'm putting my opinions out there and putting my face out there a little bit of my life out there, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's weird when people start saying, well, I like this and I like that. And it, and it took me a minute and I'm glad I stepped back because I just realized, you know, I'm not going to please everyone. And like, I love the booktube community. I think there's some excellent creators out there. Some that I like, they're so sweet and I just love them so much. I, I watch their stuff and um, they're just really great people. But I don't want to do what everyone else is doing per se. I just want to do what I want to do, you know, and if people love it, cool. If people don't like, dude, I don't like, look at my subscriber count. Do you really think I care? Like how many people watch stuff? <laughs> like if I was in it to like make money, uh, I don't know if I'd go this route. Right. So at least for me, so that's going to be changing. I'm going to go back to doing the reviews that like I want to do, and I'm going to 
pretty much stick to the things that I actually have an opinion about. So I'm going to take this mask off my face. And then when I come back, I'm going to tell you what's going to be coming up, what I've been reading and what I'm really excited to talk about. So give me just a minute. All right. So the mask is off. Yay. Pick up my hand towel. All right. <clears throat> Let me throw some toner on my skin. Oh, by the way, I haven't been saying anything I've been using. I don't know if anyone cares, but this is the skin food peach sake toner. Just try to get that double cleanse in there. Oh, I bet that sounded good hitting that microphone like that. Okay, so that's why I have these. It's my microphone because I don't have a different one. So who knows how this is going to sound. This may never see the light of day if it sounds so bad. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So what have I been reading? What am I excited about? Well, Miss Ruby Dixon, just love her. I felt like we were going through such a dry spell with her books. And then boom, we got Bethesda, Bethia, Bethesda. Uh, it's another book in the Corsair series, which I am still reading through that one. So we will hopefully by the time of next, well, we have a lot of Ruby Dixon to talk about. So we have that one. We also have Rahal's Resonance, which is the first book in the Ice Planet Clone series, I believe is what it's called. And that is, that was so interesting because of course it's the first book in a series, even though it's a continuation spinoff from, you know, Ice Planet Rivarians and Ice Home, but things are getting buck wild in the Rubyverse and I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to talk about it. Oh, by the way, that serum, it's a mix of the ordinary, like I can pronounce any of this, Argerline solution and Matrixol 10%. So I just do two drops of each of those and that's my serum. We'll let that sit for just a second. Anyway, so yeah, super excited for the continuation of that series. The first book, can't wait to talk about it. And then we also got a Rizdiverse tale, which y'all know how I feel about the Rizdiverse tales. I absolutely love them. And I can't wait to talk about this. So I'm going to, on my eyes, I'm going to use Cosrx's Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. So when we talk about the Rizdiverse, we've got... Hold on one second here, because there, there's one that just dropped, one that just, just dropped. And that's when she's wary. And I'm trying to remember what the name of the other one is. And I swear to you, I cannot think of it. Uh, it's like when she's, when she's, uh, okay. I'm going to have to put the title here. I read it and I absolutely loved it. And I will tell you with that one, it's like, there's not a lot of plot that happens in it. And you know, it, it's okay though. Cause even Ruby said like in her author's note that it's not a plot based book. It's just a fun little diversion, super short, super fun. Uh, going in with the advanced snail mucin, mucin power essence, put that all over my skin. So I can't wait to talk about those because honestly, oh, so good. So good. And I mean, and I don't care. I love Ruby Dixon. Like she's fabulous. So those are definitely ones that are coming up and I don't want to do it like boom, 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 boom. I like doing the single book reviews. Like this is the book I'm talking about. This is what we're going to talk about. Are we going to talk about other books in it? Yeah, probably. Especially like when we're talking Ruby Dixon universe, cause they're all so interconnected, right? So I don't know. That's definitely the things that are coming up. Also, I started listening. So there's been a couple of books that I've listened to lately that have been pretty interesting. Uh, there was a Regency romance that I just got been listening to and it was, a, it was about a Duke who 
falls in love with, I can't remember if it's a Viscount or maybe he's just part of like the landed gentry. Anyway, super cute. I absolutely loved it. It's definitely worth talking about. It has some interesting plot points in it that I wouldn't mind discussing. And then also, I have a question for y'all. So leave, you, leave your thoughts or your answers in the comments down below. What do y'all think of full production audiobooks? I love them. Like, I absolutely just adore full production audiobooks. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, give me one second and I'll explain it. Okay, so full production audiobooks, that is where they will hire a cast to act out, to voice the audiobook. So instead of just one narrator or two narrators, like a lot of audiobooks, this one will have a full cast. I think one of the most popular ones I've seen recently is the way they did the Sandman. So they, for the Sandman graphic novels, they, which are a collection of the original comic books, <laughs> uh, they, ha they had a huge cast come in and read those. And there's also like sound effects and music and backing tracks and everything like that. So that's kind of what a full production audiobook is. But there are so many more than just that one. And I recently read one or listened to one. It was a pretty short book, but oh my gosh, it was so good. And it was kind of like the continuation of the story of Lydia Bennett slash Wickham and like what her life is like after her marriage to Wickham. I'm telling you, it was so good. I'd love to talk about that. And I'd love to talk about like some full uh, production audiobooks and just the ones that I recommend, the ones I've listened to. And, but I would like to know, have you ever listened to a full production audiobook and what do you think of them? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, so now we gotta go in with our moisturizer. Once again, it's gonna be the Cosrx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. This is fabulous. I love Cosrx. It is one of the products that I can use that does not make my skin freak out. And I've got super sensitive skin. Any deviation to like the main routine my skin usually hates it. I have to be really careful even with the masks I use because yeah. And like, it's so weird to think because you know, when you're a, you know, when you go through puberty, when you're a teenager and everything, everyone tells you, just wait until you get older, you'll grow out of breakouts. They lied. Like <laughs> I am very close to being 44 years old. And my skin will still freak out sometimes and I get these breakouts and I'm like, what in the world is going on here? Like, it's just, <sighs> someone lied to me. Okay. So final thing before we put on sunscreen and then I'm going to do my makeup real quick is the ordinary, the squalane oil. I only use like two drops just to kind of help seal in the moisture because my skin can't get dry. Oh yeah, it is finally springtime in Utah. Like, ugh, we had the longest, the longest winter it felt like. And I'm super happy, like we need the snow, except now like, now that everything's melting, we're starting to get flooding. <laughs> so that's fun. But yeah, so pretty much just like, sometimes life gets in the way and you start questioning things. And that's really what I was doing. I was questioning like, what do I even want to do on this channel? Like, and here's the thing. Some people are not going to like it. Some people are going to unsubscribe and like, whatever. I don't care. Like, I don't think that chasing numbers is what I want to do. And there's certain things that I see a lot of other booktubers do that I'm just never going to do. I don't do reading sprints. Like, because I don't have a set time when I read, except for when I go to bed. And like even though y'all are seeing me right now, in my bonnet and all that, like, I'm not gonna have you live stream with me while I read while I'm sleeping or getting ready to go to bed. Like, that's just never gonna happen. You know, and there are a couple of tag videos I need to do, but like, 
And I will get those done because I really appreciate the creators that tag me. They're so sweet. But other than that, like, I just want to talk about the books that interest me. And yeah, here's the other realization I came to. I am a trash panda. I like reading my trash. Now, granted, I do read some more serious books and I usually don't talk about them because I feel like everyone has talked about them, right? They're usually very critically acclaimed books. And like, I just don't talk about them because everyone else has. So I would rather find, I would rather talk about these weird, not well-known books by authors that are a lot of them very indie and fall into the categories I like, which is science fiction, fantasy, romance. <laughs> and like, that's what I like. And like, and here's the thing, it's okay. And if I put videos out there and the only people that ever watch them are the other people who like these same books and are like, oh my gosh, someone's actually talking about something I like, you know what, I'm great with that. I'm so happy about that. Because like trash pandas unite. It's okay to like what we like, you know? And yeah, some of it's problematic and yeah. Okay, fair. As long as we understand that it's problematic, we recognize that it's problematic. And yeah, we can have discussions about it if I feel like it's something I can discuss. And we understand that this is fiction and that in real life that this would not be okay, right? That's kind of what we're gonna do going forward is I'm gonna talk about the books I like and if you're down for it, if you like these books, cool, then let's have a discussion about it. If not, you can watch me do skincare on this video. <laughs> and like, and like the whole reason I, I, I even said I, the whole reason I started this channel was so I could A, learn editing, which I feel like I've learned a lot. I've progressed so far in my skills. I have a lot of, still more to learn. And B, so I could not be scared of public speaking. And like right now, like, ah, my speech is even worse. So, because I got Botox, I got a lip flip. Because like I said, I'm almost 44 years old. And look, I don't judge what anyone else does. Meh. I want to use Botox, so be it. I love it. I think it, it makes me feel good about myself. So, but it is so hard to talk with a lip flip. It's so hard to do anything with a lip flip, but it looks real nice. <laughs> so anyway. So those are the two things. And I feel like I have been become more confident in my speech. And even when I do stammer, I kind of roll with it more and it's okay. Like it is what it is. So yeah, that's, and I think the third and final reason was just to find, and I don't even know if I said this in my like booktuber newbie tag, whatever. But like the other reason, I just wanted to find people that like the books I like so we could talk about it, so we could have a discussion. And I've been so anxious about looking at my com comments and stuff. So if you'd like to comment, I have a reply to you. I know I need to. And plus been super busy with everything else. But I'm also anxious because I'm like, not, I mean, believe me, I get negative comments too and I, whatever, not that. But just because it's been so long that I've looked and I'm just like, girl, you got to do it. You got to go and like reply because some of the conversations I've had about like, uh, just different books, different dynamics that I've pointed out in books and how that kind of translates through a life. Like they've been so amazing and I've really enjoyed that aspect of it. Like that always makes me smile. So if I want to continue those kind of conversations, then I need to do what I like and to do what I'm passionate about and not just like settle for something. So anyway, that's, that's where I'm at in life. This video is a mess. So finally, oh, I got to open, sorry, I got to open the new box of my sunscreen. So I just ran out of my other bottle. So finally, of course, we're using the Cosrx, the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. It's SPF 50. It is a chemical sunscreen though. So if you don't like those, this probably is not the sunscreen for you. I used to always be into the, like the real, the uh, mineral sunscreens. And I still use them on like my arms and stuff, but this sunscreen is so good. I love it for my face, my face, my neck. 
And yeah, here's a little tip. I wear sunscreen every single day of my life, whether I think I'm going outside or not, because I do sit in front of a computer, I do sit in front of windows, just naturally. So I think it's really, really important to wear sunscreen every day, every day, all day. Make sure you get that stuff on there so you are protecting your skin. Because as the esthetician I went to not too long ago told me and said and reiterated, not like I didn't know this, but melanoma is real and it's preventable in a lot of cases. So sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Make sure you get it all over your neck and everything. And like I said, I use a different sunscreen for my body. So we will, y'all not gonna see that. Like this video is a big enough mess. So I've gotta go put on makeup. I gotta do something with my hair and then I gotta go. So I'm not late for this. But anyway, I hope that this kind of brings you up to speed on where I've been, what I'm doing. And I do plan on coming back. So I will be recording probably not in this bathroom, <laughs> but I will be recording some more and look forward to some more Ruby Dixon. Oh, also coming up some more Alice Winter books that I found. Oh, I love her so much. And a couple of new authors that I'm trying out that I have started reading their series. So things I like, things I'm passionate about, pretty much books that are, or series as a whole that are above three stars that I don't just go mm, meh to. Something I actually am interested in. So that's what I have coming up and if you did enjoy this video, if you liked watching me doing all my skincare being a fool, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. And then you can always give me a little bit of love on this channel. You can give me a little thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, you can always hit that subscribe button. So you know when I post again, because who knows when that'll be depending on what's going on in my life and work. So <laughs> I say so too much. I've noticed that I've got to work on that. We'll work on that. Anyway, until next time, take some time for yourself. Do some skincare, do whatever makes you happy. And until next time, love you, bye.